Bad Words is the best comedy you've never seen. Go locate your preteen cocksucker son and stuff him back up that old blown out sweat sock of a vagina and screwed off to whatever shit kicking town you came from. Can you do that for me? Hey, I'm Ryan and welcome back to another best comedy you've never seen. The show that looks at overlooked comedy gems and over explains them. Today we are looking at Bad Words, a 2013 Jason Bateman comedy that he both starred and directed. While this is Bateman's first time directing a feature film, he is a very prolific television director, once actually holding the title of youngest TV director. How's his feature film directorial debut? Let's find out. Jason plays Guy Trilby, who is our antagonist. An antagonist as a main character? That's right. Get ready to root for the bad guy. Guy is at a regional spelling bee competition. Sure, contestants are usually between 8 to 12 years old, and dude is like 40 in this movie. What are you doing up on the stage, weirdo? Your chair called me for help. It's like, help me. But let's just say he found some loopholes. You're not eligible in any fashion, way, shape, or manner. This is a quote. Speller must not have passed beyond the eighth grade on or before February 1st, 2011. If you want, you can continue to ogle my transcript. Just please don't wrinkle it any further, but you can see there, unfortunately, I have not passed the eighth grade. And then kicked all the little kids' asses here at the sectionals. I was late. A-B-S-Q-U-A-T-U-L-A-T-E. Break out the rubber pillowcases tonight. Little pricks are gonna be counting tears, not sheep. Who's next? I don't get what's so big about spelling. Anyone can spell. Homer Simpson can spell. Hi, I'm smart. S-M-R-T. I mean, S-M-A-R-T. Even my friends can spell. Ryan. R-Y-A-N. Ryan. Sucks. S-U-C-K-S. S. Sucks. Huge. H U G E Huge Monkey M O N K E I Monkey Balls B A L L S Balls What? Well, F U K U people. Uh, the C is silent. <laughs> Catherine Hahn plays Jenny, a reporter whose online paper is funding Guy's weird quest for spelling bee revenge. Why, at the age of 40, Come on. have you decided to annoy educators, parents, and children by forcing your way into a kid's spelling bee? We learned that there is a point to Guy actually entering the spelling bee, but we only learn the reasons along with Jenny as the film goes on. Excuse Drag that thing across me. It's full. You just told me it's full. I don't want it on me. This is Chaitanya. He's in the spelling bee, too. My name is Chaitanya. Oh, congratulations. What's yours? No. What's your name? Spin it around. He's a cute kid who just wants to be Guy's friend and likes the word fellatio. What was your winning word? It was auto fellatio. Fellatio, fellatio. Is that derived from the Latin phalaire, meaning to suck? The woman I'm sitting next to knows her way around that subject real well, so why don't you ask her when she gets back from dropping her deuce? Because he's so unwanted, Guy is purposely set up with the janitor's room for a hotel room. Unfortunately, the hotel is completely sold out. I don't have a bathroom. Yeah. Chaitanya wants to be friends with Guy because he's a lonely kid whose parents just stuck him in his own hotel room alone, right down the hall from a 40-year-old, sarcastic, narcissistic asshole with a grudge to bear. How about just your favorite word? I'm serious, pal. Mine is subjugate. It just sounds so cool, you know? What's yours? Can it be shut the fuck up? Jenny likes Guy in the biblical sense. Do not look at me. Do not look at me. You're fucking staring at me, you know? It's kind of creepy. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Don't look at me. Don't look at me! This movie is Katherine Hahn's Don't Look at Me duology along with the awesome movie, The Goods. All right, let's keep this anonymous. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't even Don't you look at me! I recommend checking that movie out as well. Maybe it could be a future best comedy. I just thought it would be fun to study together before tomorrow. 
Drink soda pop from the mini bar and stuff. You got a mini bar in there? And so the two are instant friends. Have you figured out your favorite word? Is it the F word? He's up there. And you can say bad words, who gives a shit? Ah, ah, he said it, he said it! Will you just say something bad, you fucking Quaker? Motherfucker? Great, perfect. Because my dad says we're probably just some unemployed bum trying to steal the prize money that I deserve. At the spelling bee, Guy tries to psych out some of the other kids. Do me another favor. Can you give these to your mother? She left those in my room last night. I would do it myself. But your dad is here. We've already covered his mood. I don't want to kick the nest. And the head of the spelling bee tries to get Guy knocked out of the competition, but picks some sorry-ass words for him to do so. Frabjous. F-R-A-B-J-O-U-S. That is correct. Guy and Titania hang out and have some bonding moments, including showing the little guy his first boobies. All I can say is you're welcome. For what? Hit it. You see, fast friends. I lied to her. I still have a couple of bucks. You want to get the ice cream now? Fuck the ice cream. How much to touch him? I don't know. Mrs. Cheaty McCheaterson, the head of the B, tries to cheat even more in trying to get Guy out of the competition. And then, this word happens. Floxinosyne hilipilification. Wait for it. F-L-O-C-C- That word is longer than most sentences. I-N-A-U-C-I- N-I-H-I-L-I-P-I-L-I-F-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. Guy finds out his new 12-year-old friend is being forced to spy on his friend by the dad, which causes a little rift between the two. There's no worries here. When it comes to spitefulness, Chitanya learned from the best. Please send the police to the Sportsman's Lodge Hotel right away. What's the problem? I just saw a man drag a teenager into his room, and she was screaming for help. Hold your tits. I'm coming. <sighs> Shit, get in there now. Break the door. In the end, the two end up going against each other in the finals, where Guy, having accomplished his goal in the spelling bee, tries to bow out. This leads to a funny standoff against the two friends on the stage. The comedy in Bad Words comes at you subtly, but fast. Helped by the outstanding performance of Jason Bateman. I left a ton out of this review because this time around, I wanted you to get a feel of what the movie was about rather than beating the dead horse. But I love moments like this my behavior was ridiculous at best. I'm incredibly lucky that I wasn't beaten to death by the parents. That lead to this. Congratulations. Oh, you must be vibrating. That's so exciting. And it's what makes this movie horribly dirty, but a lot of fun. Bad Word stars Jason Bateman, Katherine Hahn, Rohan Chand, Allison Janney, Philip Baker Hall, and Steve Whitting. Check it out. It really is one of the best comedies you've never seen. Special thanks to Tracy Birdsall, Matt Kofchinski, New York Nick Guzman, Nicole Mondello, and Nicole Yol for this special appearance in this episode. Thanks for watching. It really helps if you like, subscribe, and comment below, especially if you like what you saw today. We'll be back with another best comedy you've never seen, but until then, this is Ryan from 2G1, and I'll catch you next move. Be little the time to reason the physical thrill of jumping on top of you for the kill seduction when you're in distress. Pretty pink. He called my baby boy a cock sucker, and I will not repeat what he said to me about my vagina. Okay. So my friend Ryan McClellan from Two Guys One Review wanted me to do a really hard word for a spelling bee challenge. What he doesn't realize is that I was really into spelling bees when I was younger. 
and that his words a little stupid. But anyway, I'm gonna send this to him to go along with his word. And uh, I just want everybody to check out Two Guys One Review on Twitter and on YouTube and say ciao to Ryan, okay? And you can see me spell that. Okay, take care, bye.